Hey there, it's Jason Stahl with another episode of Body Shop Business, the podcast. And today I have two very special guests from the Women's Industry Network. Jenny Anderson, who is the Director of Customer Success and Sales for Integral, a division of Enterprise Rent-A-Car, an immediate past chair of WIN and co-chair of the 2023 Most Influential Women Committee. And I also have Blair Womble, who is the manager of strategic accounts services for Caliber Collision and co-chair of the 2023 WIN Educational Conference Committee. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. First of all, let's just start out. What is the Women's Industry Network or WIN? Yeah, so the Women's Industry Network's mission really is to support and enhance the role of women in the collision repair industry. We do that through the promotion of education, professional advancement, and networking. Um, on top of that, we've got our WIN Board of Directors, which really exists to guide the organization in furthering these initiatives. Um, like many boards, we are all volunteer, and we represent various collision industry segments, um, included but certainly not limited to um, repair, suppliers, consultants, info providers, technology companies, and insurance companies. And WIN really works with many women and men in management roles who want to learn how to improve retention for female employees. Um, and this really shows us that the industry is continuing to accept women in many different positions and understanding their importance to the market. However, even with this progress, there's of course always room for improvement. And that's why WIN plays such an important role in the overall structure of the collision repair industry. So through our focus of attracting and retaining women, we're really able to sustain a dialogue that hopefully continues to enhance the marketplace as a whole. Well, that's, that's wonderful. And uh, my second question is, uh, and some in the industry may know about this and have heard about it, what is the Most Influential Women Awards, the MIW Awards? What does that entail? So, yeah, so the Most Influential Women Award was established back in 1999. So it's been around for quite a while. And it was established to recognize women whose leadership, vision, and commitment to excellence have enriched the collision repair industry. So with the addition of this year's MIWs, over 115 women have been recognized by WIN for their contributions to the collision repair industry. So it's, it's really exciting and we cannot wait to celebrate these women. So can you elaborate on the selection process, the criteria for the most influential women and also talk about the, the winners this year? Absolutely, yeah. So kind of to pull the curtain back a little bit. So we have an independent selection panel that's comprised of various industry professionals. They review our nominees and select awards based on established criteria. So that could be their industry influence, professional accomplishments, mentorship, and community service. So this year's six MIWs really serve as a shining example in terms of the array of opportunities that are available in the collision repair industry. And you'll see that too by their diverse representation of industry segments. Um, they're really also a testament to the positive impact that women can have in this and really all other fields. So WIN is incredibly excited to recognize these six amazing women with MIW awards this year. So our 2023 MIW recipients include Tracy Calkins from PPG, April Lausch from Faulkner Collision Center of Lancaster, Lakitria Luter from Service King Crash Champion, Johanna Peet from Caliber Collision, Jamie Shoebridge from ICAR, and Sabrina Thring from Driven Brands. Great, and, and where is that uh, celebration going to occur this year? Yeah, so we're going to be celebrating our six MIW recipients at our conference, um, and we will be recognizing them at our Win Gala, which is on Tuesday evening of conference, which is May 2nd. Wow, so this WINS annual education conference is coming up. Can you tell us a little bit more about the program and, and what kind of educational track or what kind of speakers you'll have there? So we're really excited about conference this year. It's in San Antonio, Texas, which is a wonderful destination. It's being held at the Weston Riverwalk. Conference is May 1st through 3rd. Our theme this year is Reimagining Tomorrow. Uh, our Topics this year range from the topic of the future of work, 
Uh, we're going to have some speakers from GM, some speakers from USAA. So we're really excited to welcome everybody in person. And we've got the opportunity for people to join us uh, via virtual as well. So we're excited to see everybody again. So what are the benefits of this conference? What will people get out of this? I'm so glad you asked that. So we offer really invaluable networking opportunities at conference. I know for me, my, attending my first conference was really life-changing. Um, you get to meet other women in the industry that you just don't get to meet really in your everyday work life. So to me, that's really the number one benefit of getting to come to conference is getting to see women in your parallel throughout the industry that you can share experiences with, get advice from, share contact information with. Um, there's lots of opportunities for you to mentor people, for you to gain contact information if you're looking for a mentor. Um, so to me, that's really the number one opportunity with conference is networking opportunities. And then the education opportunities that we offer through our speakers. Um, and I, I just can't recommend coming to conference enough. Uh, it, it really offers such valuable, um, I, I hate the term warm and fuzzy, but that just to me is really what conference just gives such a boost to be able to attend. So the educational opportunities, the networking opportunities, um, being able to attend virtually, I love that we have that option now. If you know budget does not allow for you to travel um, to pay the conference fees, having that virtual option is really great. So if, if you go to your boss and it's just not in the budget this year, um, use the virtual option and then go back and say, hey, these are the things that I gained. Um, this is the knowledge that I gained. And then ask for them to budget for that next year. I would, I would add to that too, you know, having been in the industry for 20 years, um, the WIN conference was the one conference as a female that I felt immediately accepted. You know, in this large room, you walk in, there's hundreds of women. My initial gut was to feel intimidated and worried about where I was going to sort of plug in. It was the most welcoming event, that first conference. Um, it's something I personally look forward to every single year. And I just can't encourage women enough to attend. If you're feeling nervous about it, don't. Please come, check it out. Um, you really will make lifelong connections. It's just such a valuable experience. 100% agree. Yeah, I can't, I, I have encouraged so many people within my organization to come and they, will ask me why and I will share my experience of the people that I've met, the way they've impacted my career through when that, that don't work for my organization and the massive impact they've had on my career. So I just, I really, I cannot encourage coming to conference enough and I wouldn't be involved in, in when if I had not come to conference. So just cannot recommend it enough. <laughs> Wonderful. I think next year, this uh, I'm definitely going. I have never been. I sent Megan Cusick last year because she was new to collision industry and I wanted her to network and get to know people and learn about the industry. I'm sending her this year again, but gosh darn it, I need to get there. You yeah, have to That's have. a great point. Yeah, we, we encourage men to come. I think that there is this thought or stigma that men aren't welcome and that's definitely not the case. I've talked to my boss about, I, I report to, to a guy and I've talked to him about, hey, you should come. Like there, there are definitely guys that we do have come. It, it Honestly, we love to have the support from men in, in the industry. I love that we have support from men in our organization. So we love having the support of men in the industry who attend. So it's definitely not a a situation where it's no boys allowed. <laughs> so if you're a guy out there that's listening to this and you're thinking that you're interested, please come. We would love to have you. Who's your keynote speaker this year? We have a couple of featured speakers this year. Gina Schaefer, uh, she is the founder and CEO of a chain of Ace Hardware stores in the Washington, D.C., Baltimore, and 
Alexandria, Virginia area. She's a passionate entrepreneur who grew her company from one to 12 stores in only 14 years and now leads a multi-million dollar business that employs more than 250 people. She's a former member of the ACE Hardware Corporation Board of Directors. She's dedicated to maintaining a strong corporate culture, supporting small businesses, and helping women to succeed in all aspects of the hardware industry. So we're really excited to have her and listen to what she has to say about um, helping women to succeed in business. Then we also have Patricia Walsh, who has a world record in the Ironman Distance Triathlon. She was a 2016 Paralympian. She's a five-time U.S. national champion. Patricia is going to be speaking on overcoming diversity and adapting to change by setting specific goals and planning regular testing with the aim of proving your capability to yourself first. This confidence built over time then makes a person more resilient. Her session topic is going to be reimagining achievement in the face of diversity. Then we have Shayla Rivera, and her session is going to be titled Unleashing the Power of Your Story. Shayla is really enthusiastic. Um, she is a professor at Texas a and University just down the road from San Antonio. She's an aerospace engineer that worked with NASA on the space shuttle program and the space station. She later became a corporate trainer, speaker, comedian, writer, and professor with her alma mater, Texas A&M University. Shayla applies her humor and expertise as a speaker to benefit her uh, nonprofits or benefit nonprofits and books. She has had the honor of entertaining U.S. troops stationed around the globe and having a 30-minute comedy, uh, comedy special on HBO Max. Wow, that sounds amazing. I, I really admire triathletes. I mean, we just had an Easter egg hunt here at the company and I sprained my knee running to get the eggs, I swear to God. Um, <laughs> this is bad. Um, so what is, tell me what Win Gives Back is. I know that's a, an a, a event or a, a, an activity you have at the conference. What is that all about, Win Gives Back? So we have two opportunities to give back to the community this year. One is going to be Monday morning in partnership with NABC, USAA, and Caliber Collision. We are going to be doing a Recycled Rides giveaway. If you've never taken part in a Recycled Rides giveaway, it is just such a special event. We're going to be doing two cars this year um, on the rooftop across the street from the West End. And one of the recipients was recommended by Soldiers Angels, which is a local nonprofit in San Antonio. The other was recommended by Grace Under Fire. So we're really excited about that. This is the second year in a row that we've had a Recycled Rides giveaway as part of our conference. Last year, we did one vehicle. This year, we're getting to do two. So we're really excited about that event. Um, again, that's 10 a.m. on Monday morning. And then Tuesday at 11 a.m., we are partnering with so Soldiers Angels again, doing an event where we are going to be making no-so blankets and writing cards um, for veterans, uh, deployed soldiers, and even wounded service members. So the, the blankets um, are given to deployed soldiers, veterans, wounded service members, and then the cards of support that we're going to be writing are usually included in care pack, uh, excuse me, packages that are shipped to deployed soldiers uh, for service members around the world. So every year we try to choose a local charity or nonprofit um, to partner with and give back to the community that we're in. So we're really excited about this year's events. That sounds wonderful. I've been to several of those Recycle Rides events and they are very emotional events and they're very heartwarming. So that's wonderful. Um, are there any other fundraising events you guys are gonna be doing at the conference? Isn't there like a charity walk I've heard about or? So yes, we're doing a um, scholarship walk, our annual scholarship walk. It's a fundraiser event for the WIND scholarship program as part of WIND's commitment to driving the future of the collision repair industry. Um, originally held in conjunction with our annual conference, the walk has evolved in recent years to follow friends, family, and colleagues from across the industry to participate. Um, the 2023 walk registration opened back in February and participants are encouraged to join a team and compete for leadership board 
prizes. You may participate virtually on your own or with a local team, or you can join us in person at the 2023 conference or simply donate for um, towards the cause. Uh, we're really excited about the walk this year. The in-person walk will be taking place Tuesday morning, um, and we will have the option to register in person during the conference, um, or you can register on our website. So anyone interested in attending the event or maybe becoming a sponsor or participating in any sort of way, virtual or in person, where can they find more information? All of that information is on our website, and so they can visit our website to find out more information about conference or becoming a member of WIN. Okay, so you have all these great speakers and panel discussions. Anything else on the agenda? Yes, we've got a great panel this year. The panel is going to be geared specifically towards hiring and retaining good people in collision repair. The panel is going to be moderated by Jamie Shackelford, Director of Industry Intelligence at Caliber Collision. And our panelists include Jennifer Mayer from Tech Force, Megan Sullivan from GM, Johanna Pete from Caliber Collision, Keith Schaefer from UTI, Holly Whitley from Gerber, Micah Carolyn from USAA. And so we're really excited about that panel. We also have two additional industry speakers during conference, Charlotte Creech. She's going to be speaking on The Future Is Now. She's the Executive Director of Innovation at USAA. And then Kelly Daughtry, the Independent Aftermarket Collision Manager at GM. She is going to be talking to us about EV and the future of vehicles. So we're really excited about all of our industry speakers this year. We've got a great variety of content for the conference this year. Um, and we're just so excited to have everybody back. Wonderful. Well, you know, the WIN sounds like a wonderful organization, um, shining a spotlight on all the talented women in the collision repair industry. The industry cannot thank you enough for promoting women as professionals in the collision industry and promoting it as a viable career. Uh, and this event sounds really amazing. I know we will be represented at the event by one of our staff members. So, um, uh, I can't thank you guys for all that you do for the industry. Yeah, thank you, Jenny and Blair, for being on Body Shop Business, the podcast today. Thank you for having us. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to Body Shop Business, the podcast. Check out bodyshopbusiness.com for more podcasts.